the Kenyan teacher here one more time. Pleasure to present KCSE 2022 Chemistry Paper 2. This video reviews question 5. Question 5 tested the candidates on the understanding of the topic sulfur and its compounds, specifically on preparation and properties of concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. Welcome. Part A. Explain how concentrated sulfuric 6 acid can be prepared from sulfur 6 oxide gas and distilled water. This is a question that is specifying to the candidate the starting material, distilled water and sulfur 6 oxide gas. Most students have never come across this kind of a scenario because we always teach that this exercise can be very dangerous because the reaction is highly exothermic. So we normally advise that the gas should be dissolved in concentrated sulfuric 6 acid to form oleum first, which is then diluted with distilled water. But here comes an examiner who expects you to use distilled water instead of concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. That is where the confusion came. But anyway, we are here to set matters straight. So, we can actually use distilled water directly. But, the procedure would be as follows. We would bubble sulfur 6 oxide, I'll use symbols, in cold version, cold version of the distilled water. Of the distilled water. And apart from using cold distilled water, we would even go ahead to use an inverted funnel. This would give our candidate the first mark. Then we are told to explain. So we give a reason as to why we do this. And the explanation is the reaction of sulfur 6 oxide with water with water is highly exothermic so for two marks we would give one mark for cold water and a funnel and the next mark for explaining why we are using the cold water and the inverted funnel two marks but the examiner also accepted those of us who are thinking in the usual way of preparing concentrated sulfuric acid through use of oleum. So apart from this kind of an ex uh, response, we also accepted that sulfur 6 oxide would be dissolved, would be dissolved in concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. I'm using symbols to save on space. So we would dissolve our gas in concentrated sulfuric 6 acid to form our usual oleum. Okay? Then, once we, go, we get oleum, then we dilute, we dilute the oleum with the given distilled water. So oleum is diluted with the distilled water. This is what many of our students were thinking about because this idea of cold water and inverted funnel seemed too new to many. So, oleum is diluted with the distilled water to form what we are asked to find and that is our concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. 
up to that point you'd have first mark being uh, given then you go ahead and explain that sulfur 6 oxide cannot it cannot be dissolved uh, the space here is too much allow me to use part of this space between B and Roman 1 so sulfur 6 oxide cannot be dissolved cannot be dissolved directly directly into water since since the reaction since the reaction is exothermic this would earn ourselves the next mark totaling two marks so candidates take note that when we want to make concentrated sulfuric 6 acid we can go ahead and use water yes but that water must be cold and two we must use an inverted funnel but if you made it the usual way through oleum that would still earn you all the marks for that section moving to part B, Roman 1. Give an example of a gas that can be dried using concentrated sulfuric 6 acid. Before this question was asked, we were told that concentrated sulfuric 6 acid acts as a dehydrating and a drying agent as well. So, the gases that can be dried using con sulfuric 6 acid are so many. So our response here would be, we would accept any gas, but with an exception of ammonia, because it would react with the acid, alkenes, any alkene should not appear here, and hydrogen sulfide gas. These would be the exceptions for your answer. So in this case, a student could talk of hydrogen gas, as we talk of chlorine, we have oxygen, we have carbon four oxide, we have sulfur four oxide, and many, many others. We have here both elemental gases and those that are compounds. A student could think of any for that one mark in part A, Roman 1. For Roman 2, part A, complete the following equations to show how concentrated sulfuric 6 acid acts as a dehydrating agent. So, what does it mean to dehydrate? To dehydrate means that your substance can lose elements of water. For those substances that don't have water of crystallization, they lose elements of water that is hydrogen and oxygen in the ratio 2 is to 1 so for example this is our sugar it would lose elements of water because it doesn't have water of crystallization at the end of the reaction we shall have carbon on its own and elements of water in the ratio is to 1. To balance, we'd have a 12 on carbon and 11 on water for one mark. State symbols are not necessary because this part of the question didn't indicate any states. So we expected students to leave their answer like that because the examiner as well didn't put any state. To now a substance that has water of crystallization. Dehydration would mean we are losing the water of crystallization. So our product would remain cobalt chloride and we shall have the six molecules of water separate. That is still dehydration. You lose water for those substances with water of crystallization and you lose elements of water for those that don't have water of crystallization. Part 3. State the observations made 
when concentrated sulfuric six acid dehydrates our first substance here. So what we would have is black and we are accepting brown because some sugar are white. So black or brown solid is formed. The sugar would be black if you used brown sugar, but it would be brown if you used white sugar. From here, we also expected observation of colorless droplets because of the loss of water. We also accepted color changes from brown to black. So a student could go for any of those observations for one mark. Coming to hydrated cobalt 2 chloride, we would find an observation of pink hydrated cobalt chloride. That is it. Changes to blue. Those colors must appear in your explanation to score the mark. You could go for just color change. So a student could write that color changes from pink to blue. We still accepted that, but remember the colors are a must. Heat can also be produced as an observation. And we can also have a case where pink crystals, pink crystals turn into blue powder. All these are possible observations for the next mark. Part C is asking us to state now the properties of concentrated sulfuric 6 acid that are being displayed in the reactions whose equations are below. So here, we are reacting sulfur with our concentrated acid, and then we form sulfur for oxide. We have oxidized sulfur, and our acid has been reduced to water. So here, concentrated sulfuric 6 acid is showing the oxidation property. Or, a candidate would tell us that concentrated sulfuric acid is acting as oxidizing agent in the reaction to the next equation. So in this next equation, we have our concentrated acid being reacted with a salt of another acid. The acid here happens to be nitric acid. And we find that hydrogen nitrate is produced and sodium hydrogen sulfate. The property being displayed here by our acid is actually volatility. Or a candidate had the option of telling us that this time our acid is less volatile. That is why it is able to displace the more volatile acid, which in this case is the nitric 5 acid. Part D. When a mixture of 5 cubic centimeter of ethanol, this is an alkanol, 1 cubic centimeter of concentrated sulfuric 6 acid and an equal volume of ethanoic acid, this is now an alkanoic acid, was heated. A pleasant smelling compound was formed. This is obviously an ester. The process is esterification. So, what role does corn sulfuric 6 acid do in this kind of a reaction? We always tell our candidates that it acts as a catalyst or it is also acting as a dehydrating agent. Any of these for one mark. Lastly, question 5, part D, Roman 2. We were asked to write the formula of the pleasant smelling compound. 
This is normally got from the alkanol used, that is ethanol, and the alkanoic acid used, that is ethanoic acid. So our ester is obviously ethyl from the ethanol, ethanoate from the alkanoic acid. So how do we write ethyl ethanoate? Ethyl ethanoate has two carbon atoms before the double O's and another two after the double O's. So this would be the formula for ethyl ethanoate. For the last mark and question five had those as the expected correct responses. We want to wish our candidates for the year 2023 all the best and any Form 3 who is revising on the topic sulfur and its compounds is also welcome on board. Thank you for being with the Kenyan teacher and we promise to continue to review more past KCSE questions.